Now, I can't promise it'll be good, okay? okay. But it could be all right, so I'm gonna do it. I am going to show you my little workflow, as promised, on Reason with my SP404. Here we have our SP404. Now, I'm gonna open up Reason. I only know how to do it for a Mac, by the way. I am a Mac-based individual. If you have a PC, can't help you. Yeah. You have to open up your audio MIDI. It's called audio MIDI setup, right? And then you have to go to the bottom le left here and click create aggregate device. Now, when you just plug in the SP404 on its own, right? right. You only get SP404 Mark II out as an audio device option. So what you have to do, it has two separate devices for out and in digitally. Reason, unlike Ableton, only allows you to select one audio device for both in and out, right? right? To counteract that, you make an aggregate device. And what that does is it takes outputs and inputs from different pieces of hardware and smushes them together in a software sense so that they can all be selected at one time. Aggregate device, one big device. All right. I'm um, going to audio settings and I'm going to select SP aggregate. Now I've got my SP404 connected to reason in and out. Why don't we have some fun? And why don't I create um, something right here, right now? Now I can't promise it'll be good, okay? okay? But it could be all right, so I'm gonna do it. And I think it'll at least be fun and kind of exciting way to show you a, a, a cool workflow with this SP, which is really inspiring. And I hope that people can get inspired and use this thing um, in more performative ways. I like to start very often with like pads and chords. I'm gonna scooch to the left again. I have Reason Plus. It's because I learned on Reason and because that's what I know. And I mean, Ableton's great and I have no problem with Ableton. The other thing I like about Reason is it's affordable. It's 20 bucks a month for the highest thing and you get all these packs. And some of them are duds, but a lot of them are really good and sound really dope. And I have a collection here of the ones that, you know, I, I just kind of go through pretty often and, and select these. So let me just kind of show you what I've got. Let me also slap a chord sequencer onto this guy. Probably my favorite and most used player. It, it's a little too easy, but you know, you can start there and then elevate it, so. Shedding Tears. I love these names. I want to just work with that. And instead of house, it's easy to do house and have it just be boring. <laughs> I don't want to do house right now. I just, I'm not in the mood, uh, frankly. I'm going to do something that's a little more ambient. So I'm going to do like 80 BPM. I like that better. I want to like a more electronica vibe, right? I'm going to do it layer by layer. I like to do it this way. Cool, quantize. Command K quantizes. I hit comma to add a new track. Do a snare next. Here we go. I'm doing this as fast as I possibly can. I'm going to double up on the snare there. Maybe a little. All right. I'm going to add one more layer just to make it extra. That's good. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. What I also like to do is get one of these baseline guys, baseline generator. Baseline generator is extremely dope. <laughs> I'm just 
gonna go with that. It sounds really cool. It's like, I, I can't not do it. Yeah. Triplets is the way to go there. This is why I love Reason. It's so good because you can, because it has so many good sounds and all these soft scents are really, are great. Europa is so good. <laughs> I promise Reason doesn't pay me. If they did, that would be awesome. But the value proposition for this is like, it's hard to beat. You can really get a lot of sounds and they all sound really good. A little bit. All right, so we've got like, okay, we've got these, we've got a bunch of cool parts, right? Right click, bounce in place. Okay, okay I have all of our lovely layers here. As you can see, bounced in place, we have our like waveforms there, so I'm gonna bounce. Bounce clip to disc. Stems, switch it to wave file. Aves are fine too, but I just like to switch to wave. Also 48 a uh, thousand hertz 16-bit standard export thing about the sp app as you're witnessing right now is it's not very stable look as it struggles to open but it it does get the job done quite effectively for what you really need it to do all right so i made these all loopable now that's so fun right That's how you do that. So thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Touch base here every Monday. Shoot for seven to nine. We'll see you next time.